Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 17 editing tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you one simple trick to get smoother playback on any computer inside of the editing tab inside of Fusion. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And also if you want to see some awesome behind the scenes content or projects that I'm working on, you can also follow my social media channels in the description below. Have you ever had the issue when you're editing and you've put a lot of effects onto your clips and you go to play it back and the playback is very slow and laggy and it's really frustrating when you have some clips that don't have any effects on it and then you want to have maybe a few clips that do have some effects on it and it slows your whole timeline down. So there's a new feature inside of DaVinci Resolve 17 that I have covered on a couple videos before like my uh, slow motion tutorial video where I had issues playing back the clip in slow motion. And I briefly used render in place there to show you how to get smoother playback because I was using the artificial DaVinci Neural Engine to do optical flow and my computer was running really slow for that. And the reason why I like using render in place is because that it creates basically a cached clip where you can play back videos in real time next to other clips so if you need to edit on the beat you're able to see if some of the effects work or not so yeah let's open up davinci resolve 17 and let's start editing okay so i have opened up davinci resolve 17 and i've pretty much loaded in a couple of clips so i've got this clip here and then i've got this clip with some heavy effects on it so i've got cctv added into my effects colored border uh, and drone overlay just to make it really tough on playback. So this first clip here, uh, there's no effects on it. I've just simply added it in and then the next clip I've added in um, heavy effects. So when I'm playing back the first clip, you can see at um, the top here, you can see that it's playing back in real time since I've shot this all in 25 frames a second. And then now when I go to the next clip, so it's playing back at like one frame a second. If we have other clips in the timeline, it's very annoying having a clip that lags and then it pretty much slows down the rest of the clips. You have to keep stopping and starting. So um, this technique that I'm going to show you is really quick and easy. And all you need to do, is you right click and you go over to render in place. And you've got a few uh, options here. So I like to keep it in quick time. It's pretty much the same sort of formats that you have inside the deliver tab. So I just like to keep it at quick time. And then for a clip like this, I'd probably keep it at uh, DNX HD. You can change the setting here if you want to to 1080p since this is a 1080p composition. But for this video, I might just leave it at default. And then you've got these options down here. You've got include handles and include video effects. Uh, since there's video effects here, I will have that checked just so it saves it with the video effects on it. And then um, I like to use include handles. I like to have it for 25 frames. So this will allow you to have 25 frames on either end of the clip. So if you want to add transitions later on, because this will be an exported clip. So when you want to add transitions, you have that extra seconds after the clip and before the clip. Yeah, and then you hit render and then you choose where you want to save it. So for now, I'm just, I just created a folder on my computer just called render in place. So I'm just going to select the folder and that's basically it. Now it's going to render it. So once that's completed the rendering, um, it's automatically going to swap out the original clip with the rendered clip in the timeline. And it also creates another uh, file inside of your media pool as well. You can play this back in real time. So now there's no issues with playback. It's very smooth. So let's just say you've got a client and they want you to maybe change the color of the border. And when you go and select the clip and you go to the effects, you no longer have the effects option. And that's because it's replaced it with the rendered out clip that you have rendered. To get back to the original, you can just right click on the clip and go over to uh, decompose to original. It's in the same sort of group as the render in place. So when you do decompose to original, there we go. It's just decomposed it there. And then we're going to go over to effects and then we can go over to our effects here and we can change the color to, so I'm going to change this to green, for example. And once you've rendered this in place, it's going to create a new 
rendered clip and it's going to swap that out. So now you can play it back with the green border, but you'll still have the original orange clip there just in case the clients have changed their mind or if you prefer the previous versions. So once we've done that, let's just say that we want to create some overlay graphics and we've got our clip here and we want to add some text to it. Let's go to effects library and let's go over to titles and I'm just going to scroll down and just choose one of these fusion titles here. Uh, let's just go to this one right here and I'm just going to leave it at default. So I'm going to do an overlay. So as you can see, we've got our transparent um, fusion title here and then we can see the um, video clip right underneath it. Let's just say that this Fusion title is giving us a hard time with playback and it is really lagging and you can't really see it very smooth and it's frustrating. If you right click on the Fusion title and you do render in place, it doesn't actually do anything. The way to do a render in place for a Fusion title is to right click, create a new compound clip. I'm just going to leave it at the default for this tutorial. Since now we've created a compound clip, we can easily go in and right click and do render in place and that will do the same thing. But there is an issue. So if we do a render in place, um, with the settings that we were using before, we're going to run into a bit of an issue. So let's just render this out. Now when I play it back, it's now got a black background. Now to fix that, uh, we need to save it as an alpha channel as well. So let's just decompose to original and I'm just going to right click again and I'm going to decompose in place so that will take us back to the original fusion title so if you need to make any changes on your title and you know you need to change um, the spelling or grammar or anything like that you can go back and do it this way as well so I'm just going to create a new compound clip uh, compound clip 2 so I'm just going to right click and I'm going to do render in place again and now I'm going to change my uh, codec. So I'm going to change, I'm going to leave it at quick time for format, but I'm going to go down to uncompressed and I'm going to leave it as ARGB 8 bit. That gives you A stands for alpha channel and then you got RGB, which is red, green, and blue values. And I'm just going to leave it at 8 bit. And then when I hit render, I'm going to select the folder again. And now when this renders out, when you see the render in place clip, back in the timeline you will see that it now has a transparent background and now you can preview it back in real time so that's how you make your footage play back much more smoother inside of davinci resolve's editing timeline uh, using the new feature render in place if you found this video helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time